This is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Today I'm outside the local Walmart uh, shooting on location. So today we're going to answer the question, is it cheaper to buy prepared juices in a can, bottle, or jar, or make your own? So we're outside the local Walmart. We're going to go to Walmart and actually make some pineapple juice today. Now, of course, the prices that it costs to make your juice will vary depending on the price of your produce. For example, if you grow your own produce, pick it fresh, and then juice it, guess what? That's pretty much free, but if you've got to buy your produce, it depends where you live and how much you're buying it for. So let's go in Walmart, check out the prices of the pineapple and the pineapple juice. So now we're in the juice aisle, and let's check out all the juices. A lot of the juices, you know, definitely maybe aren't even 100% juice. And uh, let's see how much the pineapple juice is here today. See, it looks like they got the Dole pineapple juice, and it says uh, pineapple juice not from concentrate, 100% juice, fortified with vitamin A, C, and E. So interesting, they're adding vitamin A, C, and E in there, and it says naturally sweet. This is a 46 ounce can for a dollar 98. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the back here. So check out the ingredients. It says. Pineapple juice, ascorbic acid, vitamin C, vitamin E, and vitamin A. So they're adding vitamins in to make it more nutritious than it would be after processing. So uh, at least it's not from concentrate. So now let's see how much a whole pineapple would cost. So now we're in the produce section and we're going to check out the pineapples. There they are over there. Check it out. They're on sale for $1.58 for a whole pineapple. So why get canned when you could get a real pineapple right here? That's a big pineapple right there. So the question today is simply this. What's cheaper and actually what's better for you? Pineapple juice in a can or making fresh pineapples from a pineapple that only costs $1.58. So next we're going to go ahead and buy the pineapple and juice it and show you the results. So now we're going to juice the pineapple in the Omega Vert 330 HD juicer. Now the point of this video is to determine if it's cheaper to buy a pineapple and juice it. And once again, this was at $1.58, an amazing price for a pineapple, or if it's cheaper to buy the juice. And I guess without further ado, let's get started. So to juice the pineapple, you could actually juice the skin, rind, and everything. But if it's not organic, I don't recommend it because they do spray this with some fungicides and uh, other things that probably aren't so good for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off all the skin and just juice the core of it. So now that the pineapple is all cut up, we're just going to go ahead and turn the machine on and start juicing. So once again, you don't want to be using your pusher in the Omega Vert unless something actually jams up the feed chute. If you're using the pusher, you're probably feeding things in too quickly. So we're going to go ahead and turn the machine on and take one piece of the pineapple and drop it in. As you can see, I put that pineapple in and instantly we're getting some juice out. It's pressing out the fresh pineapple juice. And over on this side, you can see slowly the pulp coming out. Once again, you want to do this at a nice slow and moderate pace. You don't want to just take one piece and shove them in one after the other. The machine needs a time to work, much like we need time to chew our produce before, or chew our food before we swallow it. The juicer also needs some time to work and let the pulp come out before adding more so it doesn't get overloaded. Now I'm choosing to use the Omega Vert 330 HD juicer today to juice the pineapples and this is for an very important reason. I find that the Omega Vert actually tends to juice fruits the best out of most juicers. Now what do I mean by the best? Well by the best I mean it generally gives the highest yield and the least amount of problems meaning the least amount of backing up and you know it just actually does a fairly good job and I like how it does. I mean you could use pineapple in a centrifugal ejection machine, the high speed machines, and they tend to add more kind of foam or air into the juice which actually makes your juice a little bit fluffy, which actually I don't like so much. And that's the other reason for the Omega Vert, it runs at a slow 80 RPMs and actually doesn't oxidize your juice too much and it actually makes a lot of juice with only a little bit of foam. So you can see here we're continuing to juice the pineapple in the Omega Vert. It's working really well. So we have two last pieces of pineapple to juice in the Omega Vert juicer. And we still got the pulp moving out of the machine nice and slow. So that's definitely really good. Oh, and check it out, man. We got a whole carafe full of the fresh pineapple juice. 
So I think that's about it. We've done juicing all the pineapple in the Omega Vert juicer. Let's go ahead and uh, see how much juice we made. All right, so here is the pineapple. One pineapple made approximately uh, maybe 33 and a half ounces of juice and definitely some foam. So while we didn't achieve what was in the um, packaged juice, but making your own fresh juice, tell me which one is going to taste better, the canned juice or fresh juice. Well, of course, your fresh made juice is always going to taste better than a bottle juice. Besides the freshness and how good it tastes is also the nutrition. The nutrition in fresh made juice, it's going to have more nutrition than the bottled juices if they didn't enrich it. Now, they enriched that bottled juice because in the processing, and I don't know how they process the pineapples to get it and to put it in the, in the package. I know they have to use heating to sterilize it because if they didn't sterilize it, it would go bad on the shelf. So when they do heat the juice, a lot of the nutrition is lost and maybe that's why they have to add nutrition back into the juice. So things like some certain vitamins are heat sensitive and may be destroyed by heat. So they destroy the vitamins and then they add back in, hopefully natural, but probably artificial vitamins to enrich it. But guess what? In fresh pineapple juice, you don't need to enrich it. There's naturally occurring vitamins such as vitamin C, vitamin A, B complex vitamins, also a little bit of vitamin E and besides that all the minerals so pineapple juice is rich in copper manganese, and potassium and potassium is definitely really important when people think potassium they think bananas but hey guess what also think pineapples it's so delicious the other benefit of juicing it yourself is the enzymes or the protolytic enzymes called bromelain and the bromelain is an enzyme or an enzyme is a basically a little fatty protein molecule that is a catalyst for all reactions in your body. And bromelain is known as an anti-inflammatory enzyme. And you could go down to your local health food store and buy a bottle of bromelain tablets. But why do that when you could actually juice fresh pineapple and have a bromelain filled juice with all the other vitamins and minerals that would naturally be contained in it. So while this didn't yield quite as much, as the bottled juice, I would prefer fresh juice any single day of the week. The other benefit of making your own fresh juice is that you get to choose what goes in there. So you could juice some pineapple, I could have juiced some, I don't know, some regular apples with it, some strawberries, some blueberries with this and had pineapple strawberry juice or whatever you want. Actually, I, would, I like to do pineapple orange juice. So you could make anything you want. In addition, what I want to encourage you to do besides just making juice and drinking the juices straight, which is actually delicious enough, you could also use these juices in different recipes. So actually, let's move the juice out of the way and share the quick recipe that I'm going to do with this juice to make it taste really great. So next, we're going to make a recipe out of the pineapple juice I just made. Oftentimes, I find straight pineapple juice can be a little bit strong and acidic. So oftentimes I like to dilute it down with something. So something easy could be something like this. You could take some Perrier sparkling water and, and mix a little bit of sparkling mineral water with your juice and that's going to water it down and also make it bubbly. So now you instantly have pineapple soda fresh made at home. Oh, it's so good. It's out of this world. But better than the sparkling water, what I like to do is add the fresh young coconut. So this is a young coconut, also known as a Thai coconut. This may be available at an Asian market near you. Also, some Whole Foods markets sell these. They can range in price. If you go to an Asian market, they're generally a dollar, dollar fifty. You go to Whole Foods, they might charge you three, four, maybe five bucks, depending on where you live. But these are delicious. Uh, coconut water is really rich in electrolytes. Plus, also there's the young coconut meat called jelly meat, which is really nice and thin, and it's just so delicious. So the first thing is just getting the coconut open. So there's many ways to get coconuts open. People use cleavers and all kinds of stuff. I just like to use a standard chef's knife, and I'll turn the coconut on its side, and we'll just go ahead and uh, cut off the husk of the coconut. So this coconut has partial husk left on it, and it's been shaved down like in this, uh, looks like a little yurt for shipping. So I'm just cutting off the uh, husk off the top of the coconut. And the top of the coconut as it sits on the table is actually the bottom of the coconut as it sits on the tree. So you can see here I've just shaved off all the husk. And you could look 
at the coconut you can see the basically the veins of the coconut there's three veins and I like to go between the veins that has like half um, showing and then we're gonna simply take the chef's knife and we're gonna stick it in the coconut just like that then I'm just gonna take my hand go up to the level of the end of the knife and tap it in and the knife should stay just like that then we're gonna lower the knife to be parallel with the table or your work surface and then, like you're riding a motorcycle, the guys know this, vroom, 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 vroom. you rock it, and guess what? You literally pop the top off the coconut, so you can stick a straw in there, drink it, or actually, like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a smoothie. I'm going to take this coconut, and very carefully, and very quickly, <laughs> dump it in the blender, so that I save all that nutritious and delicious coconut water that's rich in electrolytes. Next, we're going to go ahead and take a spoon, and uh, we're going to take off the little top here. We're just going to go ahead and spoon off all the delicious coconut meat and uh, put that into our blender. Then we'll take the spoon and the hole we created in the coconut. It's nice and large. We can easily get a spoon in here, and we're going to scoop out all this delicious coconut meat. Now this meat is not like the coconut out of a brown coconut. I mean, this is jelly meat. Look at this. It's like so wobbly and jelly, jelly-like. This will add a really nice, delicious milkshake type texture to your mixture. Hey, if you if you guys ever had like orange Julius, this is literally my recipe for a pineapple Julius. Oh, it's going to be so good. I can't wait. And all this work has gotten me really thirsty. So you can see here, we're just taking a spoon and easily scraping out all the coconut meat that's uh, affixed to the inside of the coconut. Alright, there you go. We're just going to dump that in there. I think we got it all, so check it out. You can see inside there are no coconut meat left. We're going to put that to the side. So now we have our mixture of the coconut water, the young coconut water, and the coconut meat. And now we're just going to simply take our fresh pineapple juice and pour that in. And look at that consistency on that pineapple juice. There's really no big clumps or anything. The Omega Vert juicer did an amazing job of that. Once we got all the pineapple juice in there, now we got the special ingredient. That's the, these guys right here. These are my favorite. These are sun-dried vanilla beans. So we're going to go ahead and open this up and uh, take out a sun-dried vanilla bean and I'd encourage you sometimes to uh, just basically take off the ends. They just snapped off. The ends are actually very, very hard and they won't actually blend up in the blender. Then we're going to go ahead and drop this whole vanilla bean in there. And I'd always encourage you to use whole foods. What's a whole food? A whole food is a food as found in nature. So you can find pineapples in nature. You can find vanilla beans in nature. You can find coconuts in nature. But you can't find vanilla extract in nature. You can't find bottled juices in nature. There's no like bottled, you know, juice trees where you can just get a whole bottle of juice. No, you want to use the coconut, process it yourself at home for the highest quality and best and most nutritious foods ever. So once we got that in there, all we're going to do is put the blender top on there, stick it on the blender. Now we're going to blend it up, just crank it on high. All right, so I think that'll do it. Let's go ahead and turn this thing off. All right, so we got the nice, delicious, creamy, uh, smoothie here. We're going to take the top off. I like to make sure all the drips go back into my smoothie there. Man, this stuff is going to be so good. You can see this is nice and frothy. And if you could look, you probably can't see that on top. I can't tip this too much. We got all the nice little vanilla specks. The vanilla flecks are from the inside of the vanilla bean and that gives it the vanilla flavor. The coconut meat actually adds like that nice creaminess that you're looking for. The coconut water dilutes down the harshness of the acidity of the pineapple juice and also adds electrolytes in the pineapple juice. It's just going to taste great as it is. In any case, oh man, you can just smell like pineapple vanilla. Maybe this smells like actually a pina colada, but virgin. Mmm, <laughs> that's so delicious. I love this so much. So hopefully today you've learned more about is it really cheaper to buy a pineapple and juice it yourself or buy pineapple juice? And what is the differences? In the end, I personally believe that it's much less expensive in the long run to buy a juicer and make your own juices. 
Now, of course, that's going to depend on your produce availability and how much your produce costs. But in general, when you have somebody else do processing of foods for you, it generally makes it more expensive and less nutritious. And you may pay for this in the long run with things like your health. A lot of processed products have things like BHA, BHT, chemicals and additives, preservatives, and other things that may not be so good for you. And in my belief, nature can't be wrong. Everything found in nature, for the most part, is a lot healthier. And when you can get the fresh fruits and vegetables and get more of them into your body, overall, you're just going to be healthier. Now, I want to comment really quickly on making juices. In some cases, juices can be pretty expensive, especially if you're using organic produce. So you need to shop smart. What do I mean by shop smart? Shop at warehouse club stores where they sell big bags of 10 pounds of organic carrots for like $5. That's probably the cheapest you're going to find. If you go to like a Whole Foods or a Whole Paycheck, you'll pay a dollar a pound for carrots. And that's $10. So you've instantly cut your cost in half. Some places will sell juice carrots, whether they're organic or not, by the big 25-pound bag. And I've seen non-organic juice carrots by the 25-pound bag for as low as $4 in some places in the country. So really, juicing doesn't have to be that expensive. It's always better to juice, you know, organic. But if you can't afford it, it's better to juice non-organic than to buy processed foods from the store, in my opinion. The other thing is, you, most people can grow foods where you live, in your kitchen or outside. You could grow sprouts in your kitchen year-round, no problem whatsoever. So if you grow your own food, guess what? your juice costs just went down dramatically because now you grow your own food and that's why I'm a gardener. I grow lots of my own food and most of it actually ends up in my juice because it actually goes so quick. I mean a whole bunch of kale will make that much juice but when you got tree kale or tree collard plants outside which is that's producing leaves every day of the year it's totally amazing. So I want to also encourage you to start a garden and grow some of your own food. Not only does it taste better but it's even more nutritious than things that are shipped in or flown in. Once again, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.